The one lives in Vienna, the other in California. Professor Markus Aspelmeyer, physicist and quantum optics expert, and Dr. Garrett Cole, material scientist and semiconductor expert. The two are pioneers of optical precision measurement. We meet Garrett Cole in Santa Barbara, the place he calls home. There are worse places to fiddle around with innovative technologies. Hey, I'm Garrett Cole, material scientist from Chris Lemire Solutions LLC here in sunny Santa Barbara, California. A hot spot for skateboard fans. Right in the crack. What got its start in Vienna is now being produced here on campus. A novel monocrystalline mirror coating that reflects laser light with less disturbances than previously used materials. This enables exceptionally precise measurements of space and time. We start with a 15 centimeter wafer. This has the continuous single crystal coatings on the surface. We then use a contact aligner, as Paula demonstrated, to take this photographic mask pattern, transfer it onto the sample. And here's an example of a, of a wafer post patterning. This is then used as a protective layer, as a mask, to then chemically etch and remove the unwanted surrounding material. And from this, we can separate out small singulated disks of the material. Quite close by, the Californian subsidiary of the Viennese startup Crystalline Mirror Solutions, for some time now home to an in-house testing system. We put it in this mount for testing. So basically, in this laboratory, we uh, bring the completed devices, and then we measure the optical performance of the mirrors before we ship it to the customer. Garrett Cole developed the high-performance mirrors in Marcus Aspelmeyer's working group. That's good. Vienna, the adopted home of Bavarian native Aspelmeyer. The headquarters of Crystalline Mirror Solutions. Marcus Aspelmeyer founded the company together with Garrett Cole in 2012. <laughs> we need those breakout places to um, basically really get out of the lab environment, um, discuss new plans, um, old mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> the foundation stones were laid at the Institute of Physics at the University of Vienna, and that was more of a coincidence. Markus Aspelmeyer was just researching optical resonators for quantum physics experiments. I think the game changer really was an email that, um, that I received many, many years ago. So a guy essentially writing that, oh, I read your paper, it's very interesting, I have an idea how to make it better. <laughs> I think that was essentially it. Huh? <laughs> So-called thermal noise leads to imprecise measurements, which is to be minimized. The main point was bringing in this semiconductor material system that is uh, single crystalline. So this is the, the, the main point. The, the atoms are arranged in a very exact way, in a perfect way, in a, in a, in a crystal lattice. And this results in excellent mechanical quality. And uh, on top of it, it had very good optical uh, properties because it was already used for solid state laser systems and so on. The results, 10 times less noise for more precise measurements of space and time, and 50 times greater heat conduction for applications that need high laser power. Schrodinger's cat may not be in Marcus Aspelmeyer's office, but the desk of the famous Austrian physicist is definitely inspiring. So Marcus is very good at finding these old, obscure German letters between German scientists. <laughs> I think that there's a nerdy hobby in there finding these quotes that fit in with the research that we do. No, Marcus is pretty cool. I mean, right, we know other collaborators have called him a rock star before, so. Can we? Yeah, cut that out. Can we cut that? <laughs> Garrett has very nerdy hobbies, actually. <laughs> yeah. I find the, um, the perfection at which you do these carvings of um, pumpkins <laughs> for Halloween frightening, actually. <laughs> from the beginning, they were overwhelmed by the great response to their invention, but also from the broad range of applications of the crystalline mirrors. If the clock was stuck. This is a, a crappy non-atomic clock, so. We uh, provide an optics technology that allows to build better atomic clocks, that allows to measure time, if you want, and frequency with better precision. It also allows you to measure 
space, so distances more accurately because of the, the, of the lower noise, which is of relevance, for example, for the detection of gravitational waves. Researchers around the world are excited about the possibilities. We have ongoing collaborations with a uh, number of groups worldwide. What I want to see is that our technology makes a difference. This is what I really would like to see. And I think we are in a good way. And, well, we hope for the best. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>